Hi everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV for a new episode of Round the Corner. Chelsea will host Noah at Stamford Bridge on Thursday night as we return to European action in the Conference League. Now, we convincingly won against Ghent and then Panathinaikos away from home. Comfortable games and approaching this one, I'm sure we have all done our research and Googled Noah, I know I did certainly, because... I don't really know anything about Noah. They're obviously an Armenian side. They are currently fourth. And I also did see that they were established just seven years ago. So very completely different teams. And I'm sure that this game is going to be the biggest yet. They're going to travel away to London and are probably filled with so much excitement to play this game. I think they're ranked 300 places I read in the UEFA coefficient rankings below us so again it's a stark difference there is a a lot of excitement there on their behalf but also it just means that we get to see some new teams we get to play some new teams I get to research and find new things out but yes guys we're gonna talk about how we will set up against Noah how I think we'll set up but before we get into the ins and outs of the game I'm going to tell you about our channel sponsors, Omelie. If you haven't heard already, Omelie are our new partners and they're an app and a platform where you can basically have a voice. You can get involved in debates, football opinions and talk to your favourite creators that you follow, agree, disagree with their statements and opinions. And rather than just commenting, you can literally speak and tell them if they're wrong or right. You can get involved in our shows. If you uh, search up Chelsea Fan TV on there, you'll be able to find our previous shows and stay tuned for our upcoming shows. But guys, the link will be in the description down below. Download Amelie and uh, yeah, get involved. As soon as you win or you lose, your rank changes and then people can follow you. It's just a really exciting way to connect with fans from all over the world. Um, but yes, check out Amelie, guys. Let Let's get straight into the game. So as we've seen this week, a few Champions League upsets, there's a lot of interesting talking points. We're probably not going to be among the uh, most exciting of games in Europe this week for sure. But hey, this is our this is our trophy here to win. Um, now that we've exited the Carabao Cup, we can ultimately focus and say that this is by no means a trophy we can lose absolutely not in fact the pressure or pressure it shouldn't be pressure but the expectation with winning the conference league for Chelsea has just risen even more so judging by how our previous games have gone and I have looked at Noah's results they've lost and dropped lost and won one game so far I think that again we should be setting up with the teams that we've seen previously and winning this uh, game now it's hard to set up against a team that we've not seen but at the same time like I said no disrespect but we are quite different in terms of clubs yeah so that's what I'll say um if there are any Noah fans out there then uh, I'd be intrigued to to find out more about the club and the team but let's have a look at how Chelsea will set up so following a bit of a disappointing week with a exit uh, of the Carabao Cup against Newcastle and then a draw at Old Trafford it's time to get back into winning ways and uh, again our B team as we called it um, has obviously been a little bit disappointed with the result and outcome against Newcastle but it was different gravy we played a Premier League team a Premier League team that we beat by the way at the weekend and had already sort of got an even angrier out and we're keen to win that game so there are obviously a lot of uh, learning points to take from that game it does mean that we get to see some new faces I think Maresca is not going to shy away from rotating wholesale once again and with this game and the level of opposition that should be a winnable game we have a difficult game against Arsenal at the weekend but again like I said we should be winning this game with whatever team Maresca puts out essentially so some of the faces we might see in the back line are pretty self-explanatory I think obviously Jorgensen will start in goal he maybe has a little bit of um what's the word a little bit of work to do in terms of kind of proving his stance as a goalkeeper and what he can offer um we've not seen enough it's been a quite a small sample but obviously Jorgensen yeah you can show us what you can do in this game I think that we will see Badia Shil and uh, Disassi once again. We obviously know that they're not quite f 
Fred Freddy. I was going to say ready and cut out for um, Premier League um, defence, for a Premier League defence. So they get to kind of play in these games and Tosin potentially could get some game time too. We've not seen him. I think Vega might also be involved in our midfields as we have previously seen. He obviously scored against Ghent, got the opener and uh, has proven to be quite an intriguing, interesting player as well who needs minutes under his belt to grow, get comfortable in this side. Will we will Guys, I can't speak today. I'm sorry. A bit of a tongue twister there. Um, we will see Dewsbury Hall uh, starting this game again. Another player who had a pretty impressive performance against Ghent um, at Stamford Bridge. Pretty sure he scored a goal himself, didn't he? So I think that, you know, this will be... Oh, I can't remember who scored against Panathinaikos. Wow, well, I'm such a good Chelsea fan, aren't I, guys? Literally just left my mind. <laughs> but anyways, this is an interesting game because will we see Enzo Fernandez play? He's not been starting and, you know, there are a lot of questions raised surrounding that. Um, but I think Enzo Fernandez will play in this game. Equally, though, I wouldn't put it past um, Maresca to maybe start a Cassidy in this game because we have seen him play in, in these games. And also, when will you play him if not in these games? Um, it is a sort of opportunity for these players to get some game time. So it'll be interesting to see what our midfield is going to look like, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Again, it's not going to be completely different to what we have seen, but there are uh, reasons to believe that Maresca might be a little bit more um, experimental uh, with this lineup potentially. Now, obviously, moving forward, we know, and Maresca has spoken in the uh, press conference that Christopher Nkunku is a player that he feels a little bit bad for because, again, he is someone that was very integral to our preseason, is a really good player. He was also an integral player in preseason last year, too, um, and potentially has not been involved in games as much as we would have liked to see. So, this is a game where, again, he gets to lead the line. He has so far been um, very crucial in these games so I expect it to be no different for him um Joao Felix I think will start in this game um of course Mikhailo Mudrik will probably start in this game and I think and I don't know if this is a bit too far or if it's a bit too of an experiment but we could see um Tyreek George potentially play in this game whether he comes off the bench or starts we know that obviously Sancho is not available in this game we are probably going to rest our more senior wingers for this weekend's game against Arsenal so it'll be interesting to see who but I wouldn't discount that I think when George played and he came on last time out he did try and get a few shots off himself he's obviously someone that is quite intriguing in terms of what you can do. Very young, very raw. At the end of the day, he is quite a um, a young player that's sort of up and up coming through the ranks. So I don't know, just a little bit of an experiment there. Uh, but either way, a new team coming to Stamford Bridge. I said it's quite exciting to see new faces. And again, all these teams are really passionate. And I know Armenia are a very passionate nation too. Um, a lot of these conference league sides are. Um, and to come up and play against a team like Chelsea, I can imagine that's quite a big deal. Um, so I expect it to be allowed away, um, away sector. And I think that obviously in terms of it being a midweek game, I don't know how allowed Stamford Bridge will be um, in terms of home supporters. But again, guys, these are our European nights. We wanted Europe. We've got Europe. Conference League action awaits us. Let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. Let me know what changes we might see to the lineup. Um, and uh, yes, guys, if you're not subscribed to Chelsea Fan TV, then hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on any content. Hit the like button as well and uh, as always take care of yourselves and we will see you in the next one up the chelsea